We are back on our show. Honored to have Bishop, Bishop Jake Owens be uh, with us this morning. Recently wrote a book called Gospel Memories. And uh, Bishop, welcome. Good to have you. Thank Mardi you. Gras. It's, it's a pleasure to be with you. Happy Mardi Gras to both of you. Bishop of the Episcopal Church, what, uh, Western Diocese. The Western, Western Diocese. Diocese. Yes, right. I have to think yes. about that. I'm a <laughs> member of that diocese, so Western <laughs> Diocese. Thank you so much for coming in. Let's ask your take on Mardi Gras and then, of course, your message for Ash Wednesday and for Lent. Thank you, Francis. The, first of all, Mardi Gras is a bunch of fun. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I love about being in Louisiana is that we have a whole season devoted to all that fun. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the final blowout before we enter into the very holy season of Lent. Some people think of Lent, I think in negative terms, as a time that we think about how crummy we are and mm -hmm. ask for forgiveness. I would invite people to recognize that it's a time to rediscover yourself as the beloved child of God. It's the time that we can offer ourselves just as we are to Jesus Christ. And we find out two very different and yet wonderful things. First, we're accepted and we are enough, just mm -hmm. as we are. But also, we find out that Jesus will make us more than we ever anticipated we could be. Listen, if at the end of Lent we can celebrate the resurrection of Jesus and say, I'm a child of God, we've really gotten somewhere. You are a very busy person. <laughs> you have a blog spot. It's called Pelican Anglican. Tell us about that. Pelican Anglican is a place that I share with as many people as I can reach. Um, the, the stories of Jesus and what uh -huh. Jesus is doing in our lives and the way his presence transforms us and how through him we can transform the world, make it a place of, of peace and love and justice. For folks that want to go on to that, how do they find it? Just if, if you just Google Pelican, Pelican. Anglican, how mm -hmm. many of those could there really be? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll find it. You'll find it. I read them. They're wonderful. Thank you're you. also telling me you're on SoundCloud. That's right. And if you just look up Jake Owensby, SoundCloud, uh -huh. you'll find me. Okay. Tell us, yeah, the, the book. I've authored a book I yeah. have. I in have. a spare time. In, my, yeah, in, all, in all my free time, yes. I have authored a book. Uh, it's called Gospel Memories, The uh, Future Can Rewrite Our Past. Right. And the, the thrust of Gospel Memories is that through the Jesus stories, we can reclaim our past. The mean, oddly enough, the meaning of our past changes as we look back and we see how God has been at work in our lives. You know, some of us carry wounds that, that, that actually can turn us toward bitterness. Mm -hmm. But as we allow those stories of Jesus to guide us in looking back, what would have become a, a source of bitterness can actually become the place where we discover God's been healing me all this time. God's been making me a person not of resentment but of forgiveness. And so Gospel Memories uh, is my reflection mm -hmm. on lots of things in my own past being guided by the different stories of Jesus we find in the four Gospels. Where may we purchase it? You don't even have your own very copy No, yet. it's yes. hot it's off hot, the press. Hot off the press, yes. Uh, in you, the mail. In, yeah. the, in the mail. I right. haven't gotten my copies yet, uh, but you can go to Amazon.com and you can get either a paperback version or a Kindle version. And I have to say, I'm a Kindle guy. I Are usually you? read electronically. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, reading a brief synopsis of the book, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's it really useful for people who have kind of reached a turning point in their lives? It is especially useful for people who have reached all kinds of turning points right. in their lives, whether they've graduated from college or or they're, they're moving on after a divorce, or perhaps a loved one has died, or they've gotten the biggest promotion they've ever gotten, and they're wondering, well, how did I get here from there? Yeah. There are questions at the end of each of those chapters that will help guide the reader through the gospel stories back into their own lives to discover what God's been up to with them. And I tell you what, if you would like to invite folks to St. James Episcopal Church tomorrow, what time for Ash Wednesday's service? I will be at St. James for the 12.05 service. Okay. I believe that there's 7 a.m. and help me if I'm wrong. Probably it's 5. 5, 5 p.m. I'm only there for the noonday. Okay, wonderful. Bishop, enjoyed having you. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.
More to come. We're going to celebrate Valentine's Day with little cakes in just a minute. Terrific.